Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mohammed and welcome to my channel Coding with Mohammed. So, like I've said, my name is Mohammed. I'm probably going to mention this another 10 times in this this video uh, just to remind you that my name is Mohammed. Channel obviously is called Code with Mohammed and you're probably wondering well, another tech guy, another coding guy that's open of another channel, another guy doing a video, but mine's going to be a little different, just a little different. Um, compared to the other ones that you see out there and I'll get to why it'll be different and how it's going to be different as well Just so I can introduce myself again. My name is Mohammed uh, I'm your average Joe or should I call myself average Mo? Nah, joking. Don't ever call me Mo Always Mohammed never Mo, but I've always been interested in coding uh, When I was in university when I was studying mechanical engineering I had a Python little project that just fell onto my laps happenstance and the minute I got into it and started learning how to do Python for the little thing that I was doing, I absolutely loved it. I loved how, you know, intuitive you had to be and how you had to use your, uh, your problem solving skills to be able to break down the barriers that are in front of you and try to, you try to visualize what you want to do and then break it down into code, you know, using the, using the code as a tool to break, break down your problems. I absolutely loved that. But obviously things um I, I didn't i didn't i didn't progress in learning how to code i stuck with my engineering degree and uh, well i tried to progress in that field and obviously if i was doing as well as i should have been or wanted to be rather i want to have opened the this youtube channel called code with Mohammed. so as you can tell by the name i'm obviously trying to break into tech i haven't broken into tech i'm still learning uh, i'm still learning as it as it currently stands but just to, to bring it back a bit um, i mentioned how i was at university pandemic then hit while I was applying for engineering roles and basically well firstly as as with a lot of people when it came to the pandemic I spent a lot of time just chilling if I was completely honest with you fell in love with Warzone and I was playing Warzone regularly but not not too much to impede my, my life but I was just generally enjoying it but then there came a point that was like I'm enjoying Warzone I'm using my time to enjoy when I haven't really deserved, you know, to enjoy. Me personally, anyway, that's for me. And I felt like I needed to really establish a career to to, to be able to enjoy myself, not enjoy before I've, I've reaped or, or benefited or reaped the, the the fruits of my labor, which I've not done any of. So that's the that's that's that, that's what got me thinking and then i saw a lot of tweets and youtube videos on on tech and how so many people are mobilizing themselves and benefiting and getting bettering themselves really i've seen brothers going from homeless to six figures in like a year and a half or two and it's all because of code was like uh, yo i'm not homeless but do you know what i mean <laughs> i'd like to have six figures so I did a lot of research, a lot of tweets. I saw a lot, of, a lot of, um, a lot on tech Twitter, and and I realized, you know, you know, I've always liked coding. I've always liked technology. Tech, tech is so in demand, especially the coding side of things. With the amount of jobs that are going to be available, are just going to be endless. They still need them now. Why not go into it? Why not go into it? Why not work hard and go into it? So in June of this year, after doing a bit of research, um, I decided that. I decided that I was gonna go into it. The the thing was the part I tell you what the problem was why it's June 2021 I'm talking about and why it took me so long. I'll, the reason why it took me so long to even decide to go into tech was simply not gonna disclose where I worked, but the place that I worked was the most chilling job ever. I can't disclose it, can't mention it. I know people are gonna ask me all about it if they watch the video. Where where did you work? I was so chilling. Oh, boom. Nah, it's not available no more. It's not about no more. It was chilling. That's all you need to know. And I was way too comfortable. And I was getting paid well. And June, come June, when things in, 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 in my previous role started to become uh, untenable, uh, shall we say, um, I decided that it was time for me to really start focusing on my career. So I did. I decided I really went into code and did a lot of research. But as many of you, many of you watching this video probably or many of you that, that are learning by yourself have realized that this learning by yourself thing is very difficult and I'll, t and I'll tell you how it was difficult for me. I started with AWS 
AWS and said, yeah, cloud computing is the one. What a Udemy course when Ham started learning, reading all up about it, applying myself. And then I, was, then I realized I'm just, I'm reality, in the, the reality is I'm just setting up service here. That's what I'm doing. I'm not coding anything. I need to learn how to code. So I'm looking around what, what language is best to code in. Like I said, no, I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, what language shall I use to code and how shall I go into it and, what, and then I found JavaScript is the most popular one and the highest paying one obviously when I say highest paying uh, uh, the, the, that's, that's, another, that's, a, that's a, another topic for another video but yes paying pay, uh, salary in the US compared to the UK but that's besides the point but yes uh, I decided yeah JavaScript's the one now I'm just I bought I bought a uh, Udemy course from I believe his name is Jonas Schmetzmann excellent excellent uh, tutorial by the way but anyway, that's that's another thing as well. I'm I'm just I'm slamming that keyboard every night, bop, 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 going in, da, 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 typing away, and then I realize, yo, I'm just doing JavaScript, but I need to be able to do something with it. I'm sure I do. Then I realize HTML and CSS is about, and then there's Node.js, the back back end of it, in front, and they messaged a few people on Twitter. Uh, asked for some help front end they said they should go front end and therefore html learn html and css i was like a nomad in siberia what's a nomad doing in siberia no one knows but i didn't know my from my know from myself or where to go and i was but i was willing to put the work in it's just i was going in circles so this is this is june july august beginning of september and on this, this one, I'm thinking, oh, yo, these hours that I've put in, and I'm putting a lot of hours after full time work, a lot of hours on the weekends, but I'm not, I still don't know where I'm going. I just said, yeah, I just said, whatever, I'm just still figuring it out. It doesn't matter. As soon as I do, I can then start really, you know, focusing and going at it. Then I see a an advertisement for uh, the School of Code Bootcamp. And I decide, and I read up on their curriculum, and I'm thinking, yeah, this, this HTML, CSS, advanced, j basic JavaScript, and advanced JavaScript, and we're doing backend, Node.js, and that, and, that, and there's this huge structure, and they've done it before multiple boot camps, and people have been really successful, and they had a ridiculous rate of 85% of people breaking into tech after three months with their boot camp, um, and I thought, that's me, that is me right there, I need to apply. Put all my eggs in the basket, and I said, no, not doing any more code until I get into this boot camp. Silly, to be honest, but whatever, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, thankfully, alhamdulillah, I got in, and I found out that I got in around mid October and started the course on November the 15th, 2021. And it's been six weeks since we're currently on our winter break, where I should be doing some code or some project, but <laughs> but. It's been six weeks and I cannot believe the progress. Um, I cannot believe the progress, the amount of things that we've learned, what I can do now just on, on a, just with a keyboard and a laptop to be honest, well, just a laptop to be honest. So I'm very, very impressed. But back to the point that I was making, these YouTubers, to be fair to them, are very candid about how much struggles they did go through or the struggles that they've been through or the struggles that they had. See? All past tense. Now, like I said, with my YouTube channel and the way I want to do things is I'm a brokey. I mean, not, not really, not entirely, but I ain't got no tech job right now nothing lined up i'm in the middle of my learning and i'm trying to showcase that document my learning show you guys the the ins and outs of possibly a boot camp how it works um the projects that i do the things that i've learned breaking down things that i've learned so it's easier for newbies uh, who i'm targeting to be honest that's the main reason why i've set up the youtube channel um yeah <clears throat> Yeah, documenting my L's. I don't know. I I have no other way to put it. I am documenting my L's. It shouldn't. I'm not really call it L's. Struggles. It's tough telling and showing people that this is what I went through and this is what I'm currently going through and this is where I'm at and this is how I'm finding things. You know, all the negative sides, and no one's showing you. So I am. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it on my shoulders, take off for the team, carry it on my back, and I'm gonna show everyone how. The, the 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 journey is the reality of the journey and once and hopefully inshallah once i break through and able to get a tech job then that's it i can tell you look 
I've gone through it. I know the ups and downs. And I want you to focus on A, B, C, and D. Or this is what I'd recommend you focus on. Obviously, I'm no expert on this thing. It won't be for years to come. Bismillah ta'ala, inshallah. So, yeah. Um, that's me. Kaudu and Muhammad. So, if you like what you see, and you like what I could possibly bring to the table, and the videos that I will bring, hopefully, then consider subscribing. If you don't like what I'm doing, if you don't like that I'm a newbie, and if you don't like that I'm documenting my journey, who oh, move along. But really though, do consider subscribing. I'll be posting a lot more content, hopefully, uh, to to show new learners out there, newbies, how, how, how I'm doing, how my learning journey is going, and hopefully we can prosper together. Oh, that was so cringe. Yes. So yeah, consider consider subscribing. Um, I'm hoping to post a lot more, um, and I wish you all the best. And any any newbie that's wishing or watching this, I wish you all the best in your journey. And consistency will take you a long, long way. Um, but yeah, and I would recommend docu every, everyone who's new document your journey. I would really recommend that. I haven't seen the <laughs> the fruits of my labor yet, but uh, I, I I can I can definitely see how can this this can be really beneficial. So yeah, like I said, consider subscribing. And I'm hoping to see you on my next video. So that's Code of Mohammed. I'll see you guys next time.